Royal Family Kids Camp is a camp specifically for abused and neglected children that are within the foster system. So these kids, I think Royal Family Kids Camp is um, unconditional love. Love that they are not used to um, when they get taken from their parents, then from foster home to foster home to foster home. There's never any consistency, and I know we only have a week with these kids, but you know, no matter the thoughts they say, or their reactions, or their feelings, we still continuously love these children as God has loved us, and we get to show that love to those kids. When I could go the second year, I was really excited about going, just to be able to pour into the kids who don't get that love, and just for a week show them that the world is different than what they're used to. It's really amazing as you get to see the kids come in the first day, and uh, the ones that have never been to camp before are really scared and nervous and they just have very downcast and heavy faces and one of the best ways to describe it is they just look old and to see those faces change each day throughout camp and by the time they leave on Friday they look their age again just by being around people who love them and accept them and they're no longer inhibited we're scared. By the time they leave, they just, they cling to you, they hug you, they want to see you again, and they just come out of their shell so much. One of my campers did not want to leave, like at the end of it, he just, he said, I don't want to, I don't want to leave you at all. They understand that this is a safe place and that this is a place that they can be themselves and be open. One of the campers that I really remember um, was a little girl and she told us that she was very good at swimming to end up finding out that I don't think she had ever been in a swimming pool. To see her progress of swimming and being nervous to get into the water even when we got there to actually jumping off the diving board and allowing me just to catch her so that she wasn't fearful. And um, I just definitely saw God work, working through her. One of the unique things about Royal Family is that we throw a birthday party for each of the kids at the camp. Uh, this is special for them because a lot of these kids don't have birthday parties and in fact this started because of a child that had a birthday at Royal Family and they found out that they had never celebrated their birthday before. Um, many of the kids don't even know when their birthday is because it's not a special occasion and so we get to um, just make them feel special for an evening. We have a pizza party and um, do presents and cake and sing happy birthday to each child and then we move over and do a huge carnival um, just trying to make them feel special and just to have a lot of fun and get to be kids for um, a few days. I think uh, so other people should really consider coming to the camp so they can really open their eyes to a different world and how the, these, these kids, they're they're just lost in the system and they need people like us to really touch their lives and, and we can do it but we really need to break out of our shells to, to pursue these kids and not only will we change their lives but they'll change our lives too. These are all campers that would not be able to afford to come to camp if we did not raise all our own money and so when you provide a scholarship or you help with fundraising or you come um, and provide your support at a fundraiser. You are helping send each one of these kids to camp. When you think about it, it's just a week out of your summer or a week out of even your entire year, but it's a week that means so much to these kids. It's, it's worth it to me to, to fight for these kids when no one else does. So. Uh, I would like to invite you all just to be a part of it, whether it's prayer, support, attending the camp, we make a difference in these kids' life, and this is one week that uh, God's love really gets shown to them, and it's not possible without the support of all of you guys.